You're very welcome back. Now, what do you get if you combine a beloved X Factor contestant with a Liverpoolian cheeky chappy with a Kevin Keegan haircut? We're <laughs> <hearing now. laughs> we have so to talk here. about their new play, but we spent the last five minutes talking about Jake. Sarah <laughs> Mary Byrne and Jake Carter. Good morning. Good How morning to you. Jake, the hair is the crew is very. We it's don't know. Very long. It's we don't know if you're yeah. McDreamy from the first couple of seasons of Grey's Anatomy. And Mary goes, "No, he looks like Kevin Keegan." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Sorry about that. <laughs> I just don't have time for haircut. Are you? Are you growing it? I said I'd try and grow it, yeah, but I don't know how much longer it's going to last. It's like the Harry Enfield sketch, the Scousers, <laughs> just, like, just need the moustache now, that's what, that's what I'll be next. <laughs> well, it looks oh, good. Suits, yeah. I think you're wrong. I think it it My mum loves it anyway, she likes long hair. Do so. you always, you, yeah, have the, like you normally come on the show well, with so. the dog and they say like the owner always morphs into this the is dog. This is the, the starting to morph hair, into yeah. the dog. Just like that. Exactly. <laughs> uh, now, you're both here for this new play, The Dirty Dusting. Um... I gather this is the funniest play going. Like, I mean, it's getting rave reviews. I suppose, Mary, like, tell us a bit more about it. Well, we did it two and a half years ago around Ireland, and um, it's about three elderly ladies, right? And mature, one, not elderly. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Mature, <laughs> mature. <laughs> and one young man who's their boss. And they all clean this big office building. And they go in this particular weekend and they're told they're going to be let go. So he's been a right duty daddy to them. Okay, yeah. So they decide, we're going to make a few bob out of this before they let us go. How dare they? We'll never get another job again. So we start up a sex line. <laughs> what? <laughs> a sex line. Uh, how does that if, work? <laughs> yeah, with a lot, well, Tommy, <laughs> All right, sorry. when you a ring of, a number, <laughs> you make... <laughs> with a lot of innuendos. I mean, it, it, it's kind of like old slapstick comedy. Like, everything we say is kind of... It's left to your imagination, and you, you get you get the joke straight away. Yeah. Well, anyone that's I suppose my age or your baby, mm. but uh, he doesn't know what he's in for. God bless him. I no, imagine. I wasn't even told that was the gig, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> You were like, so we're, it's a show about cleaning. Yeah. That's what that's yes, what you yes, thought it was yes. going to be. It was like it's a clean show. A clean, a clean show. A cleanish in, show. Called your the Dirty endos. Dusting, yeah. <laughs> Jake, getting involved with something like this when you're going out, because, you know, you do, you turn your hat to so many things and you're up for all this kind of stuff. When they're like, you're going to be listening to Mary Byrne on a sex line going around the country <laughs> for the next time, where you're like, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, this is it. That was the, that was the, uh, the line that got me the gig now. Um, yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, it's something completely different. I've done theatre before, but never like a comedy play. Um, and I read the script over a year ago now, actually, because Sorry, obviously yeah. we meant to do it kind of last or the starts this year, and then yeah. it all got pushed back. So I remember reading the script on a flight. I'd never read it before. Obviously, it's, the show's been done before, and it was amazing. I was like, yeah, okay, let's have a read of it. Let's see what it's all about. And I was on a flight, and I was literally like burst out laughing reading this script <laughs> on this. I think it was like a Ryanair flight, and the woman next to me was probably thinking, "What is going on with this fella?" So that was just from reading it. So I can imagine now when we get stuck into it, what it's actually going to be but, like. Uh, yeah. Very. How do you get into character with this? Do you did you do a bit of research? <laughs> by, <No>. uh... <laughs> <laughs> spending, spending 250 a minute on a phone line. Exactly. That's it, I was out of hello. <laughs> no, I mean, for me, Elsie is kind of, she's she's a real, she's a Dublin woman. Okay. And she's kind of, um, she's feisty, but she's very soft as well. She's a soft centre. Yeah. And then you have Peggy, who is played by Linda McCarthy, and she's this kind of shy woman who's very much in love with her husband, Billy, and she comes out of her shell. Oh, my God, when she comes out of her sh shell, it, the show just goes into a totally different... It takes a totally Realm. different thing. And then you have uh, Nicole Bannum, who plays Olive, who is the upright guide leader, you know, and she's really this, that and the other. But then you have, you know, Dave, who is the character Hello. of yeah. our boss. And he's this little upstart who thinks, you know, he can treat us women like uh -huh. dirt. And he gets his comeuppance. Oh, <laughs> God, he does. I it's funny. <laughs> when, I remember when um, Marty McCutcheon was doing My Fair Lady and no yeah. one could hear the voice. Mm -hmm. We weren't allowed to hear her Eliza Doolittle going posh voice. Yeah. Can we hear the voice? Can we hear the phone line <laughs> voice, Mary? Hold up the Come phone on. there, Mary. Like, are we all us, uh... slow down, Posty? Have you 250? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Telephone bells, Brittany speaking. How may I help you, sir? Yes. Oh, of course. May I have your credit card de details, please? Oh, American Express. Oh, that'll do nicely, <laughs> sir. <laughs> That's just a step. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'll tell you what. Ooh. Give me the number. I'm all over it. <laughs> hey, 